Yo, 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 it's the Xbox Goes Kaleidoscope with some unique views and news for the YouTubers here on YouTube. And this is No Vaseline Part 2. And this time, I'm going to stick my foot so deep in Black Bond's ass, he'll think it actually grew there, yo. Hurry up, man, because this motherfucker likes misinterpreting shit and taking shit out of context. And I'm going to get to what I mean by that. For example, he states that there are 125 million Steam accounts, okay? Now, let's look at last year alone on console gaming, all right? There was over 84 million plus consoles sold for the 360. Over 84 million plus consoles sold for the PlayStation 3. Now, between those two alone, count them, two consoles, there was more than what you just stated. And that's not even including the hundred and plus million users that had the Wii. Now, is it that you're that stupid? <laughs> or you just don't know how to count? I think it's the latter. Because I don't think you ever finished school. Because if you would have finished school, you wouldn't be working at a grocery store bagging groceries. <laughs> but what do you get, man? This is what happens to dumbasses. Know what I'm saying? Basically, beaver donkeys. You know what I'm talking about. The jackass and the pussy that's rolled up into one. <laughs> now, this buds for you, bruh. Check this out. Alright, this is just for your ass, y'all. It's a metaphor. I'm going to state that ahead of time because I, I know how you love twisting shit. You know what I'm saying? And taking things out of context. Alright? And you could actually use it in a future video as well. Alright? You have my permission, bruh. Okay? Now, there's this married couple. They actually can't have kids. So they go to the doctor. You know what I'm saying? Now, who is the married couple? Well, it's Black Bond and The Hard Eight Times. Or BG. Take your pick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so he goes to the doctor and he tells the doctor, you know, that they've been trying to have kids for months. But they can't have kids. And they want to know why is it that they can't have kids? Because we know the beaver is, we know what he is, right? So the doctor was like, all right. So the doctor runs some tests and then he comes back and he tells him, well, unfortunately, you guys are just completely incompatible. There's no way in hell you guys could ever have kids. But you know how heartbroken the beaver donkey got. So the beaver donkey was like, but really, I really want kids. What can I do? Doctor, please tell me, what can I do? So the doctor was like, all right, you could either adopt children or you could get a pet or a mascot, right? And show it some love. So, the beaver donkey, as I said, was heartbroken. So he left, you know, crying on the hard eight times shoulder, you know, on the hard eight times car, because we know the beaver donkey on his grocery salary, <laughs> he doesn't, he can't afford to buy a car. So, obviously, two weeks pass. After two weeks, the beaver donkey is walking through the town, and he walks by a pet shop. And in the pet shop window, there's a monkey with a sign around his neck that says, I can talk. So he's like, that's bullshit. So he walks up inside the store and he's like, yo, excuse me, is it true? Can that little monkey talk? The dude was like, sure, go ask him. So he walks over to the little monkey and he was like, excuse me, little monkey, can you talk? The little monkey was like, so he bought him, all right? Now two years passed. And there was a fatal car accident where him and his significant other both perished. All right. Now, why was there a fatal car accident? I don't know. Maybe somebody cut a brake line. <laughs> Maybe somebody put a bomb in this car and shit blew the fuck up. I don't know. I just know that it was a fatal car accident. All right. And <laughs> and the thing is, though, that because once the sergeant of the police arrives on the scene, the little monkey's the only survivor, and the little monkey still has a sign around his neck that says, I can talk. <laughs> so the police sergeant was like, yo, excuse me, little monkey, is it true? Can you talk? The little monkey was like, so he was like, all right, so what went down? The little monkey was like, the sergeant of the police was like, they were drinking. The little monkey was like, So the sergeant of the police was like, what else were they doing? The little monkey was like, 
Sergeant of the police was like, they were snorting coke. The little monkey was like. So the sergeant of the police was like, what, yo, what else were they doing? So the little monkey was like. Sergeant of the police was like, they were screwing. The little monkey was like. Right there, the sergeant of the police was like, oh, hold on a second, hold on a second. What were you doing during all this time? And the little monkey was like, <laughs> word up, man. I just had to get that point across, you know what I'm saying? A lot of the people that watch you is for pure entertainment. Not that because not because you bring anything valid to the table. You're just a fucking troll and one of the biggest motherfuckers on YouTube at that. And as I said earlier, this is No Vastly Part 2. And this time I'm sticking both my feet up in that asshole motherfucker, yo. But the thing is, though, that once I do, you'll love it. Because I know how you is, man. You know what I'm saying? So check this out. <laughs> yo, bro. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, you fucking with the raw cat. But it's all good, yo, because I'm going to break it down for you. I know how stupid you is, you know what I'm saying? And how much of a moron you is. You have this obsession with men. Now, y'all know what I'm talking about, especially a lot of people who's watching this. Y'all seen my face all over his channel. Bruh, are you in love with me? Do you want to go out with me? Because, you know, I don't actually swing that way. I just don't. You know what I'm saying? So you could actually give it up. Now, you need to come out the closet already and marry your significant other. Okay, <laughs> because evidently, you know, I guess that's the, some of the things that's actually messing with you deep inside. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to break this down for you in layman's terms. What a console exclusive is. A console exclusive is something that's exclusive to a console. Now, there are only three consoles. Count them. One, two, three consoles out in this day and age. Okay, that are currently on the market. And that is the PlayStation 4, the Wii U, and the Xbox One. Now guess what? The PC is not a console, dumbass. It's a platform. But somehow with your warped little brain, I guess it is. So, <laughs> I don't know, man. I would just cut it short, yo, because I don't know, man. It's like I'm talking to a fucking idiot, man. Did you even graduate? Maybe not. Because you're still working at a grocery store, evidently. Oh, well. Either way, to everybody else, y'all could comment, rate, share, subscribe. I'm all for it. And I'm signing off saying, and there it is. Clear as motherfucking day, yo. And that's for Black Bond. Peace, hoe.